and welcome back to my favorite video of the entire year. I think this video actually beats my Christmas decorating because autumn is hands down my favorite season of the entire year. Like nothing quite compares to the feeling of just when the weather drops, it gets crisp outside, you finally don't have them hot nights anymore, like you can actually sleep. <laughs> There's just been such a difference in the weather in the last few nights and I am just absolutely here for it. I am loving it, I thrive in autumn. It's just the coziest season of the entire year. Year. So I am so happy to be bringing you my Decorate With Me for 2024. I cannot believe this time of the year has come around again. It just goes so, so quick. I feel like I was here last year, like yesterday. We're back again to decorate my house. You can see I have already done the decorating and I just can't wait to show you what I've done. The house feels so much cozier than it did. And I feel like I can finally just indulge and relax and just embrace the next few months of just ultimate bliss weather. <laughs> Before we get into the video, I want you to get as cozy as you possibly can and really enjoy yourself. So I've got myself just a cup of tea, although we will be making a really autumnal drink in a minute. This one is from Matalan and it's just the perfect mug. It's like a really decent size. Like imagine having a hot chocolate in this. Just saying, it'll be very nice, wouldn't it? In terms of the theme that I've gone for this year, it's quite similar to last year. So I really love everything neutral. As you can tell, my house is extremely neutral and even the way I dress. But for autumn time, I really like to add pops of orange, in particular burnt orange and also sage green. I think sage green and burnt orange together look beautiful, but they also work really, really well with a neutral house. So if you do have a neutral home like me, don't be afraid to inject a little bit of color I also think like wooden sort of tones, which you can see right here, also work really well with that neutral sort of vibe. It just makes the house so cozy and it definitely gives like a kind of rustic, kind of like farmhouse sort of feel. So hopefully this video gives you some inspiration as well as to how you can decorate your house. We're gonna do my dining table, the kitchen, sideboards, the downstairs loo, all different places in the house, just so everywhere you turn, there is a touch of autumn because I want everyone to be reminded like, it's the best season. We are literally entering the best months of the year. Anything from now until Christmas is just like delightful because it's just the run up to Christmas, everything gets cozy, everything gets warm, it gets dark outside, the candles are on, the little lamps are on, the blankets are out, hot drinks again, because I haven't really been drinking hot drinks. I just can't when it's hot. And I've been counting down, counting down guys, the weeks until the weather finally was cold. Like I, I'm not a summer girl at all. And I can finally sit here and say, I don't like summer at all. Like I just about put up with it, but not summer girl. So for any of my autumn lovers like me, then you're gonna absolutely love this video. I'm gonna stop waffling. We're gonna get into the kitchen and make a really nice drink. And then we're gonna start decorating my house. I thought we could start by adding some really cute little touches into the kitchen to make it feel really cozy. And then we're gonna make one of my favorite drinks ever, a lovely chai latte. I've just been up in the loft, which I was get so scared to do. And then I had to go through the box and go through all my autumn decor, which again is like one of the most scariest things ever because I always picture a spider or something crawling out, which I don't even want to think about. But anyways, this is what we are working with. In fact, there's even more than this. I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of all my autumn decor, where everything's from. A lot of this is from last year, but some of it is new. But yeah, I'm just building my collection over time. I've said this before, but like, don't ever feel the pressure to keep up with what people show on social media because people will be going all out every year redecorating their entire house with new stuff but honestly it's all about building a collection that you love um, and things that bring you joy and that isn't going to be trend led it's going to be what actually makes you feel happy and I've definitely learned over the years by making that mistake of buying too much trying to keep up with trends that for me personally I am obsessed with like really cozy farmhouse sort of autumn decor I love my creams, my beiges, my greens. You'll see what I mean when we get through it. 
Um, but that's actually just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build on this collection every single year. So my Decorate With Me videos are not gonna be crazy different each year. They're just gonna be a little different with, you know, some touches of newness, but life isn't about just constantly buying, 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 buying. It's about buying timeless. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I've got. You can see that the main pops of color is burnt orange. I just love this color so, so much. But I also love this lighter orange, just pops here and there. This is the green that I was on about. I am obsessed with sage green. I think it works so beautifully with burnt orange. And then I love to have lots of light tones like beiges, creams. They kind of balance out the colors and make it look a little bit more muted. And then wood as well. I think wooden tones look absolutely beautiful. All these colors, you can just see they complement each other so well. So yeah, I'm so excited to decorate. I feel like I've got some really gorgeous things this year and I'm really proud of my collection. So to run through where everything's from, because I'm sure you're gonna ask, I have three wreaths this year. This one is from Matalan and I've actually had this, I think this will be the third year now. And I love it so much. I love the orange, the pumpkins, the faux pampas. I just think it's such a beautiful wreath. I then have two new wreaths in my collection and these are both just from Timu. So this one is a hydrangea one and I love the color. It's really, really pretty. I think that just slight pop of red works beautifully as well. And then this one is for all my neutral lovers. I love the colors of this one. And then I've got loads of faux flowers. These ones are all from Home Sense. They are so, so realistic. Honestly, I can't wait to get into them and show you them a little bit more later on but yeah they're so realistic looking i could not recommend home sense enough and then i got these dried baby breath from home bargains and they were like 3.99 each these are recent i got these literally a month or so ago and i also got these recently too all of my candles are always going to be from home sense they're the best place to go just to show you some i've got pumpkin patch I also have a vanilla pumpkin one. I love the ones with like the wooden lids, as you can see. I tend to lean towards DW Home. I think they're such a lovely brand. I've also got this one, this white ginger patchouli one with the ceramic lid. Then another DW Home salted pumpkin and vanilla. And then we have salted pumpkin and caramel. I've had these for honestly quite a while and I just don't really burn them. I mean, look. That one has never been burnt. It's kind of melted somehow, but they're just more for decor, to be honest with you. I also have these really cute candles. These are actually from Asda. I got these last year. They're in this really pretty speckly pumpkin case, which I will keep once the candles have been burnt. I have actually burned them quite a few times. And then these are from Home Sense. They're just lightweight straw pumpkins. This was Asda last year. These are recent from the range and they are little almost concrete -y sort of feel tea light holders. They were only £2.49 each and I absolutely love them. My mugs are normally always from Matalan. These are both this year and they're so nice. I love them so much. I do love my pumpkin mugs, which are again from Matalan, but these are from last year. Um, but they are a little bit annoying to drink out of. And then when I saw these, I thought they are literally the perfect mug. They're so big. They're just like a nice chunky mug. So I cannot wait to have like a big chai latte in those. I also picked this up in HomeSense. I need to put it through the dishwasher. And I got this in HomeSense. And guys, this was such a bargain. I paid £1.70 for it. It was on offer and I don't know why because look how gorgeous that is. These are from Next. I got these about two years ago but they they renew stuff like this every single year. And then where else? These I think are also from Next. My cute little Hello Pumpkin coasters. I also have these which are from Timu. All of these pumpkin placemats are from Matalan. I got this gorgeous floral display from Home Sense this year, and I got these from Home Sense this year too. These cute little ghosties. Um, this is from Asda Home this year again. Pumpkin pie reed diffuser, and then everything else. I think that's next. I made this. That is from the range. But yeah, basically the main places I shop from are the range, next, Matalan. George Asda, Timu, and some B&M. This is B&M, for example. Obsessed. And then to show you this side, all of these little pumpkins are either from Amazon or eBay. I've had them for years. I think these may be Amazon. I'm not sure. They're just some sunflowers. And then all of these flowers are from Dunelm. Dunelm's another really good place for faux flowers. All of this is also Dunelm. This is a... Um, 
what is it called, like a centerpiece for your table. I have some plaques, which I have got from eBay a few years ago. Um, I've got some new towels and stuff like that. Just, just a couple little bits going on over here. So yeah, I can't wait to get started. I am a creature of habit, so I think I'm gonna start in the dining room because it kind of just sets the tone for the whole house. So let's get in there. I do need to do a little bit of tidying as well. The house isn't tip top, so I might have to do a little bit of tidying in between um, decorating. But yeah, I can't wait, let's get into it. So there's no real logic when it comes to my dining table, I just kind of wing it and hope for the best. I started by adding my garland to the table and what I like to do is kind of fluff this out by bending the branches and getting it to look nice and full. I then added my placemats and I really love these with a the wooden tone. I thought I'd then add the centrepiece which was this big flower arrangement, I absolutely love this and this really helped to inspire me with the rest of the decor. So I added some white pumpkins and then also some wooden ones which I thought tied really nicely with the white flowers and then the placemats. I then added these really cute little vases from Timu and these dried baby breath stems. I thought they were just cute, it just added a little bit more to the table. And then it was time for candles. I thought I would go for white and then also sage green because these colours are both in that floral arrangement. So again, it just tied it together perfectly. And then I wanted some more green as well. So I added these gorgeous little pumpkins. Okay, I think the dining table is done. I said this in my last year's one, but it is quite similar to the year before, but I have made a few tweaks. Normally I put out glassware and like napkins and all that sort of stuff, but I just feel like it clutters up the dining table. And I was trying to make it a little bit more practical this year because we still want to be able to use this space, whereas it kind of just gets decorated and then not used that much. Cause it's so like all the stuff that's out is just for the aesthetic of it. And then you have all these glasses everywhere that aren't getting used, if that makes sense. So here is is the final dining table i will do like a little aesthetic bit in a second and show you it all with the candles on um but yeah if you were here last year you'll notice it's kind of similar especially this middle section right here but i have changed it up i've put this gorgeous floral display from home sense i really really love this honestly look at the quality it's so nice i think this was about 20 pounds but they do some really nice displays and it was just really convenient to be honest where it was like all already done. I mean the colours they work so well with what I already had. And then I wasn't going to add the green. I felt like it was missing something where it has got green in here. I think the green pumpkins complemented that really nicely. And then I added these baby vases which I got from Timu. And I put some of the baby breath in there. I thought it just kind of balanced out the space quite nice. And the last few years I've done tall candles like dinner candles. But I thought I would just use these smaller ones this year just there's not as much going on um but yeah i think it looks quite cute i'm really happy with the colors it just makes the house feel so cozy honestly as it's coming together i'm just like yeah i can't wait to just chill out in this house with all the yeah the candles on you know all the nice smells and everything and just really indulge and enjoy autumn i really love these placemats too i think they work so well with all the colors and these look a bit silly but these are actually just the coasters but i thought instead of not bothering to use them i thought they would work quite well on here because you could put like a little side dish on there or something couldn't you so yeah, let me know what you think guys, but I'm really chuffed with it and I love all these colours together. Okay, so next up we're gonna do my console table in my living room. Normally this is quite basic, I don't actually do too much with this, but I think this year I might try and make it a little bit more exciting. So I'm thinking of adding some, what is it called? Is it, it's not called garland. I can't think what it's called. <laughs> Basically the, is it garland? To me, garland sounds like a Christmas word. Anyways, let's start. My hands are so dry, I feel like a sunbaker. Is anyone else experiencing this right now? Because honestly, my hands are so sore. Okay, so here is the blank canvas we're working with, guys. And I'm thinking of adding this garland, which I have got from Um I've actually had this quite a few years now, but yeah. I'm thinking about popping this on here and creating some sort of display because I do like the green. I normally use this for Christmas time, but I think it could work really well here. So, I'm just 
just gonna play around with it and see what I can do. Don't know whether to just use one piece. That's kind of normally what I do, and then I'll put stuff in the middle. So I've got pumpkins and some other little bits and pieces, so I'm gonna try and fill it in now. I'll bring you a little bit closer, so you can see up close and personal what we're doing. I have literally got no idea. That's the fun of it, I'm just gonna play around until it looks good. So I've got these pumpkins from Timu, and I think they'll work really well, just where they're slightly darker. So I'm literally just gonna pop these throughout. Just to quickly show you the close up, what I like to do is I like to cover any bits like this because I just think it looks really just like a bit of an eyesore. So I basically use the pumpkins to cover up and I try and like pinch them together where I've got two. I try and kind of like bend one over and then kind of hide them as much as I can because it just ruins the vibe otherwise. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do, try and cover up these bits. I'm then thinking to add this vase, which is from b and I've had this for ages, and then put them sunflowers in there, and that'll just bring a little bit more um, like lighter tones. I don't think this will have any orange. I think I'm gonna keep this quite neutral with the greens. So yeah, we'll see how I get on. I might play around with it, but I feel like I'm starting to get a vision kind of come to me now. So yeah, we're gonna run with it and see what happens. I think I'll put that in the middle for now. And then here's a close-up of the sunflowers that I'm going to put in there. I always bend the ends like that because I find they stand better. Well, I say that, maybe not for this vase. <laughs> um, in the last one, they stood better, but this is a bit of a taller vase, so I might have to lengthen them back out again. But that is a good hack if you want to shorten them at all. Kind of trying to like get them to sit as a circle if that makes sense the train just left this town while i'm slowly heading back to my apartment i'm not asking for your thoughts i'm just thinking out loud in the darkness Okay, so next I've got these candle stands, which I think these were from H&M Home, maybe. I think the colour of them works really well. They're like a kind of textured, concretey sort of finish. And then this is just like a light, sagey green. I think that will work. So I'm thinking of popping these either side. I'm just gonna have to get them to sit better so they don't fall over. I'm not sure if these will work or not. I know I said I wasn't gonna add any more like different colors, but these are still quite neutral, so I think they may work. But where they're in the glass, I don't know. So I'm gonna try it out. They are different heights as well, which is kind of putting me off, but we'll see. I don't like things to be too symmetrical, to be fair. So it might work. So I just put one like that. I mean, I probably would never like these, to be honest. They're just decorative because far too dangerous with all that flowers and stuff around. Does that work? I feel like it kind of does, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it's giving. Mm. Or do the candles need to be closer together? I'm just not sure. I think it was them green ones that wasn't working, so I've just changed it just to these two, which I think could work if we build on it. So we're just gonna run with it and see what we can do, guys. I've got these pumpkins from Home Sense, and I don't know, but I'm gonna try and pop them in and see. I wish I had loads more in this color, because I love this color. Ignore my dodgy fake tan, by the way. Um, but I'm thinking of just scattering a few more pumpkins, just because I do like to build up the kind of pumpkin, you know, decor there. I still have these to use up as well, these tea light holders from the range, so I think they could work pretty well with this table display. And I'm thinking maybe, again, bunch them near a pumpkin, because I think they look cute, like bunched together. It kind of just looks like a little pumpkin field, but on each end could also look quite cute too. I think this one's from Asda, maybe Primark, Primark I think. And then this one is Asda, I think. These might work potentially. And I've also got these pumpkin candles from Asda from last year. So we're gonna play around and see 
because the tones are the same, I feel like it could kind of bring all the colours together. Um, and where we've already got the orange that side, to kind of balance out this side, I'm thinking maybe to pop this here, potentially. Or is that a little bit too much? Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe that will look quite nice bunched together with those. I think it's starting to come together. <laughs> like When you're doing this, guys, honestly, it's so like, oh my God, the whole time. Because you're like... It just, looks, it just looks weird, but I think it's starting to look cute. So I've got this from eBay. I've had this a couple years. It has got a few marks on it. I think I'm going to pop this back here. I think that looks quite cute. And then I've got these little pumpkins. These are actually from the range. They were on picks, but I pulled them off. And I thought they would just add a little bit more of this straw colour in and just kind of break it up a little bit. So I thought one next to that looks quite good, like that. And then maybe one this side just to balance out the colours here, maybe like here. To me, it looks like it's missing just one thing, like this little corner here just looks a little bit sad, like it doesn't look balanced. Um, so I've just found this pumpkin in my kitchen. This is from George Asda from last year, and it's a little bit more orange than I was all thinking of going initially, but where we've got the orange there, and this kind of more brownie colour, I feel like it could work. So I'm gonna pop it here. Only reservation is there's two oranges that side now. So maybe, maybe, maybe what we do is we switch around these ones to bring the brown this side. And fingers crossed, yeah, I think that looks really, really balanced now. Um, I really like it. I don't normally do as much on here, but I think it's nice to make a change actually and have something a little bit different. So of course I'll light the candles in a second to give you like a proper little aesthetic shot. But yeah, there we have it. There's no point cause we both know Ooh. I've already started taking out some of the mugs but I'm gonna empty my mug cupboard and pop all my autumn ones in there. This cupboard is a little bit of a mess. I mean it's really not that bad but I'm not tidying up all of this. I'm literally just gonna sort out the mugs today because this kitchen does need a little bit of an organisation at some point soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take some of these out. It's actually funny because these are like Christmas mugs and they're still, they're still in here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clear this out now and pop all my beautiful autumn mugs, which probably are my favourite mugs of the entire year. I just love them so much. Guys, how cute does that look? Honestly, that brings me so much happiness. Seeing all those beautiful colours. I just love burnt orange. I think that's what we've learned today. I just think it's such a beautiful colour. Okay, we're now into my hallway. My makeup is slowly coming off. I've got a little confession for you guys. Just gonna keep it real. This arrangement, which is my autumn arrangement from last year, has been there <laughs> since last year. I just liked it and it added some colour to the hallway. So I never felt the need to get rid of it. Um, but I always put this together as part of this video. So I feel like it would be wrong to keep it exactly the same. So yeah, I think I'm gonna change this vase, keep the flowers, maybe add a few more in just to switch it up a little bit. And we'll do something with this space. I don't know what yet. <laughs> okay, so this is my other vase that I use a lot. It's quite a big vase. I feel like it, I don't know though, because this one is more autumn isn't it? But am I just being silly? I think I'm being silly. So I've got these new flowers, which I got from Home Sense, and I love them. Look how realistic they look. They look so good. I think they work really well with this vase too. So maybe I can pick some out of here and just give it a bit of a rejig. I do really like it. I think I did a good job last year. Like, I think I still really like it a lot. I've also got all of these ones, which are my decor from the previous year. We could use these in a different room of the house. And maybe kind of like mix all three together, you know, maybe I could switch this one up a little bit. I, I like keeping this one a bit more muted, but I don't really want bright oranges when I enter that house. I'll have a play around and I'll see what I can do with all of the colours that I've got. Goosebumps to my skin. Tonight. 
Okay, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> um, it's okay, I don't know. So I don't like it as much as I liked my one last year, but I'm not gonna procrastinate because we've got other stuff to do. So you know what, I think this sort of color could look quite good because of the flower colors, but then it doesn't match the pumpkin, does it? Unless I put the pumpkin at the bottom because I'm thinking of having this and maybe popping some of these cute little ghosts on it. These are honestly the cutest things I've ever seen, look. They are so cute, and I don't even like ghosts and Halloween-y stuff. <laughs> They're so cute. And then on this one, we could just put a little display, so I could put my candle. Don't know though, do I trust this to hold the weight of all of this stuff? Um, I'm thinking it just needs something else, so maybe this, so maybe this acorn from b and I just feel like I need to build up this side. I do think this would look better if it wasn't this stars though, that's the only thing. What do we think? I think these little guys right here are the stars of the show, aren't they? Something I've not done yet, which I've been really looking forward to, and I just realised it's not for this phone. Which is okay, I've got a different phone, this can go on. Say hello to my work phone, how cute is she? I actually am obsessed. I'm getting really tired by the way. Um, I love this phone, it's so gorgeous. But yeah, I don't get to use it all the time because it's just work stuff. So, probably should have made this new phone my normal phone and then my old phone my work phone, but I'll sort that out. But anyway, I've got a boring old plain case at the minute. And I've got this really cute pumpkin spice case. This is from Timu. How freaking cute is that? I love it. It looks really cute against the pink as well. How cute is that? But keeping it real with you guys, I might dip out now. It's four o'clock, I might stop today and I might carry on filming this tomorrow because it's getting a little bit gray. It's actually like the perfect day today. It's crisp, it's cold. It's just the perfect weather for this video. But the lighting is getting bad and I like to film my decorate with me is in like optimum daylight. So yeah, I might film the kitchen part tomorrow and that will conclude this video. But I've been really enjoying myself so far. Like it just reminds me how much I love just having the house all cozy and nice. It's not been cozy for a while because obviously we've had the heat, but I just love this time of the year. Like it's genuinely my favorite. Like I thrive in autumn. Maybe it's because I was born in autumn. Um, my birthday is very soon, but yeah, I just love autumn so much. It just makes me feel just I don't know. There's something about it that's just like so nostalgic feeling for me. Like it just makes me feel like really giddy and just like really happy and just reminds me of being a child. I don't know why. I don't know. But I just know that it really makes me feel good. So I just love this time of the year so much. Okay, so it's the next day and name something more autumnal than cinnamon rolls. Honestly, I just love them. I actually melted my butter, my cinnamon and my sugar together to create a runnier paste. This just was so much easier to work with. So I was laying that onto my pastry before rolling it up and cutting it into the little chunks. It did kind of get a little bit stuck. I was having a bit of difficulty. They definitely weren't the most even, but that's what makes it homemade, right? We're not trying to strive for perfection, it's just meant to be cute. So as you can see, I'm actually using a cheese board cutter because it was just like the perfect size to kind of mark them out, get them even, and then just cut them. Oh, I'm not ready, not just I finished them off with cream cheese frosting and then also some cinnamon sugar and these actually turned out so good. They were a little bit small but honestly they tasted absolutely sensational. The place that is really neglected in this house is the downstairs loo. Like this stuff is just a mixture of like last Christmas, just some random things. There's no kind of logic in here. It's just a mess. I say a mess, it's just like, it's just unloved in here. So this is the back wall. Um, this is a room that I really need to do. Like it's never been decorated in here other than just painted. So that's why there's not much love in here. But 
we can add a little bit of love and just do something to this back space here. So this pot right here, my dad actually handmade me. So I feel like it, it's one of those things where it's gonna stay in there. And to be honest, I think the darker tone of it will kind of work quite nice for autumn. Um, but I need to take this out because this is a reed diffuser by Habitat. This is Seaside Walk. It's actually a really lovely reed diffuser, but obviously we can't have two. So I'm gonna take that one out and I'll pop my autumn one in here. And I can take this out. This is a, a Christmas room spray, which has been sitting there and has never been used. And also the light in here is very temperamental. I thought the baby breath could work quite nice in this vase. I think maybe adding these in here could look quite cute too. Just like that. I think that kind of just adds a little something to it. Yeah, I think that's quite cute. Right, I'm gonna clean this and then we can carry on. That and that kind of ties together. Then we have my reed diffuser. So this is the pumpkin pie reed diffuser from George Asda. I think that looks quite cute there, you know. I think either of these two candles could work because they're both orange. So this one is salted pumpkin and caramel and this one is pumpkin patch. So we'll try this one out first. I think it's just a little bit too big. It just looks a little bit out of place. Yeah, that definitely looks better. I think we still need something here. I got this, I think, from Next Home last year, and I think this could be what we are missing. There we go. It's better than nothing, isn't it? It's a little something in here. I've got this lovely hand towel from Matalan, which will just add another little touch of autumn. Here we go. Probably would have been nicer, actually, if this was like a orangey one to match the back, but... It's giving farmhouse vibes for a very, very boring downstairs loo. Okay guys, so that concludes my Decorate With Me For Autumn 2024. I always get sad when this video comes to an end because it's just such a nice day and I really enjoy spending the day with you guys. Even though technically I'm spending it with a camera, I really try and envision your, like you there. Um, and I'm thinking like, what would you guys think like when I decorate certain parts? And you know, I try and think, does that look good? Would you like it? Um, so hopefully you kind of felt that you were on a journey with me throughout this video like when we were decorating we were decorating together you know I do feel like I'm decorating with you guys so yeah hopefully you kind of felt like that as well I hope it got you all cozy and in the autumnal spirits and I know I said this at the beginning but like don't feel pressured to buy loads and loads of stuff Obviously content creators are gonna decorate their house from head to toe because we create content, it's our job, like we wanna make it fun for you guys, but this does not mean that everyone needs to spend or buy or have as much stuff as what I've shown in this video. I mean, I kinda of do it semi-moderate. There are some people that go all out, which is beautiful, but I could never. But even if you just wanna have one thing for autumn, like a little candle, that's okay. Like, well, we don't have to have anything, but don't feel pressured into spending loads of money and buying loads of stuff. Home decor is very much something that should be built over the years and like you don't just have to have it overnight you know so hopefully you take inspo but also don't feel that you now have to go and do what I've just done because it's not normal like it's literally not normal it's just content creators that live this sort of lifestyle because we're here to give you inspiration so just remember that I just want to put that out there because yeah these sort of videos can make you feel a little bit um I don't know, you know what I mean. Anyway, but yeah, anyways, let's not end it on a negative note. I was just trying to, you know, let you know. Um, I'm gonna finish off my cup of tea and I've actually got dinner on the go at the minute. So I'm very much looking forward to having my dinner. I'm very hungry. And I will see you guys in my next video. There's probably gonna be lots of autumnal videos coming. I mean, I've done loads already. There's loads of come and shop with me's on my channel and just autumnal fashion videos, but I'm sure there'll be lots more. Um, I'd love to hear any ideas you have in the comments. And until then, take care guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I shall see you very soon. Bye guys.